Welcome back. Casey Campbell here with Great Lakes Post, and we are pleased to be joined by none other than Kyle Larson, the driver of the number five HendrickCars.com Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports. How's it going, Kyle? It's going good. How are you? I'm doing well. So uh, you've had to battle. You had to battle through some adversity on Monday at Talladega. Uh, overall, I know it wasn't not the best day for you, but what did you take away from that race, or what can you take away from that race? Yeah, I think for me, just, you know, what, what part I had in getting wrecked, you know, um, you're know, not making the right moves at the right time to have better track position, stuff like that. And, you know, put myself towards the back of that pack. So um, try and study that and learn from it and, and just try and become a better super speedway racer. So going into this weekend at the Roval, uh, how exciting is it to go out, go back there on a road course again? Uh, how do you think you're doing so far this year on the road courses so far? I know you, I know you've had a few wins on there, but overall, how do you think you're doing so far with them? Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. Um, we've got two wins on the road courses. I think it was second at Coda, a third at Indy. We had a shot to win the Daytona road course and then road America was, was our worst run. So, and we still, you know, are running, I think in the top seven or something there late before we got spun. So I enjoy the road courses. Um, you know, Hendrick Motorsports has great equipment for the road courses. You know, Chase has been, you know, the dominator on them, uh, the last few seasons. So yeah, I've enjoyed it and, and cool to get a couple wins this year on, on road courses. You've had, you've had the, the best season that you've ever had in your NASCAR career. Uh, what has it been? What has been, what has it been like this year running with Hendrick Motorsports? And after everything that you've been through in your career and everything you've been through last year, what's it like to have this sort of year? Yeah, it's been amazing. Um, you know, to be up front, you know, pretty much every weekend you're battling for a good finish. Um, has been great. You know, and to get your six regular season wins plus a you know, all-star win. Um, you know, hopefully we can cap it off with a championship in you know, a month and a half or so. And um, I think that would be amazing. So it's, it's been great though, you know, working around Cliff Daniels and everybody at Hendrick Motorsports is it's, it's honestly everything you can imagine it probably being, you know, how professional, how really perfect it is. Um, it's so it's been great. Yeah. So I know you're also, you've been doing a lot of stuff on dirt this year and all that. How have you kind of balanced that with your dirt stuff as well as your, um, as well as the NASCAR style? Yeah. So it's, um, I don't know, it's, it's what I've always done. So it's not, uh, it doesn't seem too crazy and hectic as it might seem to, to other people, but, um, and two, like logistically, I try and map out my schedule around the cup races the best that I can um, to where I can either you know drive from the dirt race to the NASCAR race or it's you know I can get direct flights or whatever um and two you know in the summer that's when that's when I'm really busy racing all the time uh because you know I've got speed weeks and stuff like that so um where this time of year you know I might race once a week you know I can get home every week and get to the shop and stuff like that so um it's it's not too crazy I definitely get a lot of frequent flyer miles but um it's it's fun yeah for sure is there any I know you've been in lots of cars lots of different types of you know vehicles because I know your name's also been floated around trying to I know would you ever drive an indie car I, I figured I'd ask that yeah, I mean, I, I think, uh, who knows, I, I would like to try it out at least at a test first or something and see if, see if I enjoy it, see if I'm comfortable, you know, see if, how scary it is, uh, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't ever, you know, take it off the table or anything like that. Yeah. We'll have to see. Um, and then, you know, this, the next five races, I know they're tracks that, you know, we got Texas, Kansas, Martinsville, Phoenix, um, and then the Roval. If I'm, if I'm correct, those are tracks that you've never won at before, but you've ran, have, you've had some good runs at all those places, but what's it going to be like? What do you want to do? What do you want to see out of this team? What do you want to see out of yourself? These next, five, these last five races of the season? Yeah, I, uh, I love these next five. Um, 
you know, Martinsville would be the one that, that I'd be most nervous about. You know, I, I've never been amazing there, but uh, going there earlier this year in Hendrick equipment, we ran top five. So, um, you know, we've been really good on the road courses. So I, I hope to be good this weekend. We won the all-star race at Texas earlier this year. So I hope we can go there and be good. Kansas, I've led a ton of laps at, um, just never gotten the win. Um, then you got Martinsville and then Phoenix is another track. You know, I've, I've, uh, you know, had some really good finishes there and we had a great car there earlier this year. Just, I made too many mistakes to, to allow us an opportunity to win. So I definitely love these next five and, and I hope we can get some wins in them. What's been the biggest thing that, you know, that you've worked on this year to really improve your craft as a driver? Um, I think for me, I think just staying calm, I guess, in pressure moments. And, and I think that's not something you just, you get at, you get better at in one season. I think, you know, a lot of that came from last year and all the dirt racing that I did and all the you know, races that I was in position to win. And, you know, I won a lot last year in the dirt stuff. So I think just mentally getting yourself stronger um, has been a, has been a, a big thing for me this year. So going into this race at the, at the world of what's been the, what's the toughest part about driving this course you think? Yeah, it's just, it's narrow, it's rough, bumpy. Um, restarts are crazy. It's just, it's just a lot of like tight racing, um, especially on the restarts. So yeah, turn one's difficult. Uh, the chicane, the backstretch, um, not having any practice too is uh, can make it a little bit nerve wracking, but um, hopefully we'll get up to speed quick and we'll be good. All right. Well, Kyle Larson, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Good luck this weekend at the Rovo and good luck the rest of the season. Yep. Thank you.